Drought is taking a huge toll on New Mexico's farmers. In fact, in some parts, conditions are worse than they've ever seen. And the fate of this year's chili crop is now in the balance. News 13 pilot reporter Bob Martin shows us how bad it is. Here in the Hatch Valley, New Mexico's chili belt, the Rio Grande is just a river of sun-scorched dry sand. Been this way for three years. A few miles upstream, Elephant Butte, where Hatch irrigation water is stored, the lake is a shadow of its former self, mostly wide beaches now. The smallest amount of water available for irrigation in almost 100 years. In about a month, the Butte will release a trickle for a few weeks for farmers, not the months of flow they need. We haven't had a rain here since about uh, September last year. Jimmy Little is a third generation farmer here. His chili fields are stunted and struggling. In the greenhouse, his seed plants with water are what the plants in the fields should look like. Bigger, healthier. Like many farmers here, Jimmy pumps groundwater to make up for lost river water. Efficient drip irrigation hoses below the surface reduce water loss. But the pumped groundwater from a rapidly falling water table is very salty, leaving a crusty residue, reducing productivity, possibly quality. All the, all the growers are in the same boat I'm in. You know? Everybody's having the same problems and impacting everyone. Even when the meager ration of water flows down the nearby irrigation ditches in June, they are just as parched as this dry riverbed. Experts say a lot of the water could be sucked up by the ditches. Little and others say there will be a chili crop this year, but this water shortage cannot be survived forever. Bob Martin, KRQ News 13 in the Hatch Valley. Farmers say as the water table goes down in the Hatch Valley, the concentrations of minerals in the groundwater goes up. They say what they need is good, clean surface water.